Karnataka has been making major strides in multi-sectoral development in recent years with a focus on key areas such as railways, highways, airports, metro, port-led development and much more. The state has been on a trajectory of progress and growth. The railways has been a major focus of development in the state. Between 2014 and 2022, a total of 1,347 kilometers of railway lines, including new lines and doubling of existing lines, have been commissioned, with an average rate of 168 kilometers per year. This marks a 49% increase compared to the commissioning during 2009 and 2014. Additionally, 32 railway projects with a total length of 4,330 kilometers at an estimated cost of 49,000 crore rupees are in various stages of development in Karnataka. Furthermore, 53 railway stations in the state have been identified for development under the Amrit Bharat Station Scheme. The inauguration of the world's longest railway platform at Sri Siddharudha Swamiji, Hubali Station, just a few weeks ago, is a significant milestone in Karnataka's railway development. In the aviation sector, Karnataka has seen the development of eight airports, namely Bidar, Mysore, Vidyanagar, Hubali, Kalaburgi, Belagavi, Shivamoga, and Vijaypura under the Uran scheme. Out of these seven airports, including Bidar, Mysore, Vidyanagar, Hubli, Kalburgi, Belgavi and Shivmoga have already been operationalized, boosting regional connectivity and economic growth. Metro Rail has been another area of focus in Karnataka, with over 56 kilometers of operational Metro Rail network in Bangalore. This has resulted in improved public transportation and reduced traffic congestion in the city. In line with the growing need for sustainable transportation, Karnataka has also embraced electric mobility. Under the FAME India scheme, 350 electric buses have been sanctioned, with 150 already delivered, including 300 in Bangalore and 50 in Hubli Dharwad, promoting clean and green transportation. In the area of port-led development, Karnataka has seen a renewed focus with 31 projects worth 1,531 crore rupees being funded under the Sagarmala initiative. Of these, three projects worth 71 crore rupees have been completed, while 28 projects worth 1,461 crore rupees are under implementation, fostering economic growth through port infrastructure development. Karnataka has also been a hub for software technology parks, with six software technology parks of India centres set up in Bengaluru, Hubli, Mangalore, Manipal, Mysore and Devanagari. These centres have fostered innovation, entrepreneurship and job creation in the state, contributing to the growth of the information technology sector. In line with the Modi government's focus on sustainable energy, Karnataka has also made crucial progress in the development of biogas plants. These plants utilize organic waste to generate clean energy, reducing the dependency on fossil fuels and contributing to environmental conservation. Karnataka has set up 45 biogas plants under the National Biogas Programme in the last three years, promoting renewable energy and environmental sustainability. Mechanized cleaning has also been a key focus in Karnataka, with 31 cities adopting mechanized cleaning under the Swachh Bharat Mission Urban. This has led to improved sanitation and cleanliness in urban areas, promoting public health and well-being. In the area of household electrification, Karnataka has made significant progress under the Swabhagya scheme, with more than 3.83 lakh houses electrified since 2017. In the field of education, Karnataka has taken steps to enhance access to quality education for all. The state government has initiated various programs to promote education among underprivileged communities and marginalized groups, including the establishment of schools, colleges and universities in remote areas. 
Two new Senex schools and four new medical colleges have been made operational in Karnataka in the last few years. IIT Dharwad, developed at a cost of over Rs 850 crores, is functioning. The state has also been promoting skill development programs such as One District, One Skill to enhance employability and entrepreneurship among the youth, aligning with the national agenda of Skill India. To address the challenge of water scarcity, Karnataka has focused on providing tap water connection to households across the state. Under Modi government's flagship program, Jal Jeevan Mission, Karnataka has made progress in providing tap water connections to rural households, ensuring access to safe drinking water and improving health and sanitation outcomes. About 40 lakh new families got tap water connection in the state. Let us now talk about the tourism sector, which has also witnessed growth in recent years. The state is known for its rich cultural heritage, historical landmarks and natural beauty attracting tourists from all over the world. Karnataka has taken initiatives to promote tourism through infrastructure development, conservation of heritage sites and promotion of sustainable tourism practices. Sri Chamundeshwari Devi Temple of Mysuru, Sri Madhva Vana of Udupi, Papnash Temple of Bidar District and Sri Renuka Yalama Temple, Saudati Belagavi have been identified for development under Prashad scheme. Kasarkot Beach and Padu Bidri Beach in Karnataka have been beautified and developed. In the area of irrigation, Karnataka has undertaken various projects to improve water management and increase agricultural productivity. Upper Bhadra project, a major lift irrigation project costing 5,300 crore rupees, has been approved in this year's union budget. Furthermore, Karnataka has also been focusing on the development of industrial corridors to boost manufacturing and economic growth. The government has identified various regions with potential for industrial development and has taken measures to provide necessary infrastructure, incentives and support to attract investments and promote industries. This has led to the establishment of industrial clusters, parks and hubs in Karnataka creating employment opportunities and contributing to economic growth. South India's first industrial corridor project is coming up in Tumakuru Industrial Township as part of the National Industrial Corridor Programme. Over the years, Karnataka has emerged as a state that is driving India's growth. The initiatives taken by the government and the fact that centre and state governments have aligned their synergies has resulted in implementation of welfare and development across the state. The right implementation of vision has contributed to economic growth, social welfare and sustainable development in the state, improving the quality of life for its citizens and positioning Karnataka as a leading state in India's development journey. So that was all in our special coverage of Karnataka. If you liked this video, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, this is Richa Devedi signing off. Dhanivad and Namaskara.